Hello, my friends. I just recorded a message with the two most important prayers after you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, which are the prayer of repentance, turn away from sin, and the prayer of surrendering, surrendering in your yourself to God, to surrender. So here are the two most important prayers after accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repentance and surrendering, which are praying for wisdom, praying for discernment. I pray daily, God, I want wisdom to do your will, to speak your words, to speak your messages, to minister to my family, to my relatives, to my friends, to people around me, to go where you want me to go, to hear your voice more clearly. Lord, give me discernment. Discerning of spirits in the name of Jesus so I can better um, be a, uh, your vessel on this earth. Better minister to people. Better lead people to Jesus Christ. Give me discernment to know your ways. To know, uh, to go where you want me to go. Give me the discerning of spirits. Discernment. The gift of discernment. I want more wisdom. I want more discernment to do your will. To be your vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. So my friends, we pray those prayers every day. It's a daily communion with God. It's a daily relationship. It's a very tight relationship with God. 20 or seven everywhere you go no matter what you do no matter who you are with your friends your family by yourself you got to be with god you have to have that communion with god at all times at every moment in the name of jesus always speaking to god in your heart because god hears our thoughts he knows our hearts he knows our feelings so have a communion with God everywhere you go. Always ask, Lord, you want me to go this way or that way? Always pray in your heart before you go somewhere, uh, before you speak to somebody. Have, have that at all time, a communication with God. Learn to hear His voice, hear Him. You know, have a quiet moment to hear the Lord in the name of Jesus in your heart because God speaks. So that is when discernment comes from, to discern when I thought a message a dream or a vision, a sign, when that is from the Lord, when that is from you, when that is from the devil, we need to have discernment to know, you know, there's so many messages that I have been uh, posting and, and delivering to people. And many times I, I see uh, one or two people go like, oh yeah, that message is not from God or you're lying. So I, I say, listen, you need to pray. That's why I always say in my messages many times, almost every video, I say we need to learn to hear the voice of God. We have to have this sermon. Inquire of God. We need to know when a message is from God or not. For there are many false prophets, for false teachers out there. Yes, there are several false messages out there. We got to be careful in the name of Jesus. Even dreams, visions, many dreams, visions are not from God, are from Satan in the name of Jesus. We have to have discernment. So very important prayers, wisdom and discernment. Ask God. The Bible says, ask. We need to ask God. Ask for what we want. But I'm not talking about asking for you know, Mercedes asking for gold and silver and a lot of money, asking for wealth. That's not what it is. Our God supplies our needs. He supplies our daily needs. And He gives us supernatural joy, supernatural peace. Hallelujahs, where we are lacking nothing. We lack nothing when we are abiding in His presence and doing God's will. Hallelujah. It's amazing. All glory to God. It's not always what we want. God gives us what we need. Because many times what we want is not going to be good for us. Because God sees the future. God knows more than we do. His ways, His uh, His thoughts are higher than ours. We don't always understand. That's why be careful what we pray for. Pray for God's will. God knows your desires. God knows the desires of your hearts. We need to just surrender to God. Be willing to serve, be a servant of God. A son and a daughter of God. Be humble in the name of Jesus. And that's when God is going to bless us more than what we ask for, more than what we even deserve, more than what we we even think 
off in the name of Jesus. We're going to give everything that we need and more than what we even deserve. Oh, glory to God. Listen, our mansion, our, our, our everything is in heaven, in paradise. Here on earth, we are to be his vessel. So God is going to protect us. God, God is going to be with us. He's going to give us supernatural peace and joy and strength to do his mission. And he will be with us. It's amazing. It's powerful. But um, we got to be careful with all the prosperity gospel out there. Yes, God wants us to prosper. Yes. But when the Lord says, ask and receive in the Bible, ask, pray for what you want, you know, as God's will. We do not know the future as much as God does. We do not really know what is good for us. So there are many people out there praying for, I want that car because I want that I want that I want and that I want that certain uh, vehicle that is extremely expensive. Oh God, if you love me, you're going to give me that. If I speak the word of faith, that's going to happen. That's not how it works. We got to. Got to be humble before the Lord. For God knows we we need to be careful to not act like we are God. In the name of Jesus, we got to be humble before Him, reverence before God, be His servant. That's what God wants us to ask for. God wants us to ask for uh, His will. And then God's going to bless us in the name of Jesus. So, um, Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repentance. Prayer of repentance. Turn away from sin. Prayer of surrendering. Lord, here I am. I am yours. I want to do your will today. Lead me. Guide me. Use me. Use my mouth to speak. To speak your words. In the name of Jesus. Use my hands, my feet to do your will. To lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. In the name of Jesus. Father, use me for signs, miracles and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Use me to prophesy. To lead people to Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Give me boldness. Give me courage. That's how we pray every day. Every day we pray those prayers. In the name of Jesus. But willing. Because God will see the desires in your heart. If we pray just by saying. Just by repeating a prayer. Just by writing your prayer down a piece of paper and reading that no that's not how it is got to pray out of your heart like desiring in the name of jesus and also the prayer of wisdom wisdom lord give me more wisdom increase more my my wisdom increase my discernment give me more um revelation i want to know you more uh in the name of jesus just hallelujah glory to god praise the lord praise the lord there's power in praises hallelujah glory to god